Ah, that's working a bit better today. Hi guys, how are we doing? So, uh, neighbours are looking a bit weird. Uh, today, a couple of things on the agenda. Um, it's been a really busy week at work. Haven't been vlogging much, haven't had any chance to film anything whatsoever actually. Uh, so, uh, this afternoon is Friday. Uh, that's it for work done for the week. So, I think I've got a couple of things to do. One, I want to film a trailer video for my, uh, for my channel. I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to try and do a little bit of a mini vlog as well. So, I've got a couple of things to upload straight away. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going in the mini studio I've, I've made. Can you see it? In there, you see one of the lights? A little mini studio. It's only very basic uh, with a couple of lights and a white sheet on the back of the wall, but I need some space. I can't keep on doing it in the house because people are getting annoyed uh, with my comings and goings. So, yeah, we're going to get in the studio. I'm going to do a little bit and uh, we'll talk to you in a bit, guys. Right guys, so I think that went alright. Um not must be bright there. Uh yeah, not exactly sure how that's gonna come out. I've gotta edit it and everything. Uh, by the way, I'm vlogging at the moment on the Canon M50 EOS M50 with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens in 4K. Now the tracking is face it's face tracking at the moment, and you know, to be honest, it's working pretty well so. Um, at the moment I'm going to stick with this. My computer really doesn't like the fact that I'm recording everything in 4K, it can't cope with it, but for the quality and the crispiness, I'm going to sacrifice and hopefully be able to get a new computer at some point in the future. Oh, see it lose focus then. Okay, we're still, it's still uh, up in the air this one, whether I'm going to uh, do uh, vlogging in 4K or I am going to go just to 1080p, which is perfectly adequate. It is searching quite a bit, isn't it? Okay, anyway, let's carry on with this one. Uh, I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you guys. This came in the post. This came in the post uh, Wednesday, and I've been holding on to it to try and fit it. But this little bad boy. Some of you might know what it is. Some of you might not. But I'm going to get this bad boy on and show you. Let's uh, get this opened and see what it looks like. Okay, can you see me? In focus. Come on, come on, Canon. Right, let's get this thing open. I've been waiting to do this for so many days. Right. Okay, so we've got a nice little cloth inside to start with. And inside this, we have the colours I've gone for. A little bit of foam to protect it. That's empty. Right, guys, so we can see the pack I have gone for. I can't even remember what I went for. It's been so long. I ordered this about two weeks ago. It's come from, uh, I think, I believe they're based in uh, Canada, Toronto, so that's where it's come from. Okay, I went for a red carbon backing for my phone. Ah, so it actually comes with two. So you've got the one that can wrap around the edges to cover up the silver, or the one that just covers the back so you can keep the silver edges on your X. Which one do I go for? I think for ease of use, I'm just going to go for the backing for now so I'll keep the nice shiny sides. And then I've bought a blue lens cover. Can we focus on that please, Canon? Can we? Yeah. Like a blue carbon lens cover to go over the camera of the iPhone X as well. So, I'm going to try and get this thing on and see what it looks like. Um, I'll try and film fitting it, but I'll, I've got no patience when it comes to these kind of things. So, uh, I'm going to do a bit of research and get this thing fitted quite... I've got to clean my phone, man. Phone's really dirty to start with, so... Let's get this done. Just gonna clean it with this Eco Mist Cleaner. Check out the video. Okay, so I need a hairdryer. I'm gonna get one of those, yeah? <laughs> Didn't know about that. <laughs> okay, so it says, to apply the camera skin, you gotta use a tiny little forklift. That's what it says on the video. That's helpful, Dbrand, very, very. I guess I'm just gonna have a go at this. So I'll have a go. It comes with four, by the way, so if you mess up, you got another shot. You gotta clean the phone and stuff first to make sure that everything's clean, there's no dust on there or anything, so. Let's have a go at this. Okay, so that's 
relatively easy. You've got to try and get make sure the sensors aren't covered, and more importantly, you're not covering your camera up. That it is extremely accurate the cutting out. So I don't know if I'm supposed to leave that or what. Right then, guys, it looks like I've got to peel this off and then set it down about halfway down on the paper like that I think so anyway then we've got to try and get it perfectly over the camera this is going to be difficult man okay so I think that is pretty it's about as good as I'm going to be able to get it it's about as good as I can uh, get it lined up it is a little bit fiddly but uh, it gets on there and it looks pretty good to be fair so now you've just got to heat the sides with the hairdryer and uh, get it all stuck down properly okay so I think that's it it looks really really good actually and the fit it, it the, I don't know if you can see that on the camera the fit around the sides actually it curves you heat it up and then it curves around the edges of your iPhone so it's a really really it's quite a delicate procedure and you have to have quite steady hands um, but it does look really really good the finish on that well you can see the carbon in the light look oh look at that baby yeah that looks really good uh, really happy with that it's a really nice textured feel to it it gives it a little bit of grip um, on the back unlike most cases I do like the no case feel so we've got a screen protector on the front of the phone and I've got this on the back now and that uh, camera protector there uh, the skin on the pr actually protects most of the camera lens as well uh, without uh, interfering with the camera so yeah that is the D brand carbon red skin with the camera carbon cover as well. So I'm pretty psyched about this. It's fit perfectly. Um, it's, it comes in a really, really cool little package as well. You get this little leaflet in a nice little plastic case, nice and shiny, and it gives you the instructions of what to do there uh, with the website to go for a video, quite helpful video um, on how to apply your skin. So yeah, thank you Dbrand for my new carbon skin. It is pretty cool. I will be ordering different colours for future phones and for few, and maybe for this one as well. Uh, obviously you get the spare camera lens as well if you want to replace that. So Awesome! Uh, if you like this video, consider subscribing. Hit that little bell as well to make sure you don't miss any new videos coming up soon. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next time and thanks for watching. <laughs> okay. I just had to change my memory card as well because I used up nearly 32 gigabytes today of filming in 4K. Okay, that's another downside to filming in 4K. Anyway, so what I was saying was, uh, when I get to 100 subscribers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a D brand skin for somebody, uh, just a skin, and then I will send it to you. That's what I'll do. How about that one? So hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time for more shenanigans and fun and all sorts of doobry firkins. That's an English word. I don't know what it actually means, but we say it. See you soon, guys. Take it easy.